New tonight, body shops are getting ready for a rush of business after Wednesday's rush hour snowstorm. Drivers reported hundreds of wrecks across Middle Tennessee. So many authorities couldn't respond unless there were injuries. Well, now those folks are looking for a place to get their cars repaired. This too, Joseph Pleasant explains why an influx of business may require an extra dose of patience. The shop at Vogley and Todd is busy. It's a workshop full of activity. One that will likely get busier because of this storm Wednesday. Uh, that snow came in so quick, I don't think uh, TDOT had a chance to even keep up with the amount of snow. Uh, everybody was in a hurry to get home, uh, and it was just kind of the perfect storm situation. Cars are already coming in. Even the technicians weren't left unspared. A car lost control and collided with Courtney Hawthorne's Honda Civic on I-65 Thursday morning. I need a new hood, a new fender, a new bumper, a new headlight. It's pretty bad. Hawthorne told me her car might be totaled. Body shops like this one expect to see a lot more cars early next week. In Metro Nashville alone, for instance, between 3 o'clock Wednesday and Thursday at 12 noon, Metro Police responded to more than 400 car wrecks. And that doesn't include the wrecks that happened where drivers simply exchanged information and kept going. Like new collision centers, four locations are seeing an influx of customers as well. More will likely come as folks work with their insurance companies. It's going to increase quite a bit because it takes a few days for everything to come around for it to end up at the shop. So to handle the volume, these shops will become like triage centers for automobiles. The most heavily damaged cars get priority. If it's not safe to drive, uh, we want you to leave the car at the shop and the insurance company would feel the same way. That will mean drivers should be patient if they had a run-in with the weather and have the damage to prove it. In Nashville, Joseph Pleasant, Nashville's News 2. Now in Rutherford County alone, authorities responded to nearly 100 wrecks on Wednesday.